Malmo Lithuania is a supplier of small and medium-sized assemblies producing for well-known OMIs in the truck, bus, construction and handling industry as Volvo or, or Komatsu. Malmo Lithuania focuses on three product groups single-piece parts, multi-piece parts, so-called uh, welded assemblies and finally pre-assemblies. In the end, Malmo Lithuania aims to be the preferred supply chain partner of those components by supporting our customers with all of their supply chain needs, including procurement, manufacturing, system development and logistics. To remain competitive and grow, Malmo Lithuania envisioned to implement Cobots throughout the production to take over repetitive tasks from technical operators. This would allow the operators to focus on value-adding tasks like quality control or complex processes. By doing so, Malmar also envisioned to create a human-centered work environment accordingly where job content is more attractive. Yet, given the many different production processes on Malmar, the typical job shop environment and finally the higher mixed lower volume settings, putting a fixed cobot at each machine cell was not feasible. Instead, Malmar wanted to use cobots as flexible and reconfigurable production assistants. Cirrus is a Belgian technology and research center for the technological industry. We help companies innovate and we help them make the right technological choices in their innovation. Almost a year ago, Malmar, together with the Cirrus, finalized automation of our welding and co-grinding process using Corobot. Considering this successful partnership, it was logical to continue and enter Trinity Call and develop together our idea on reconfigurable, flexible production assistant. So Malmar scoped project to three processes, tapering, spot welding and bending. The products were scoped to 80 parts, which are coming from single-piece parts family. Realizing such a mobile robotic production assistant seems rather easy at first sight, but there are, of course, many challenges to overcome. If you have to handle 80 different products and you have to be able to do operations on three different machines, that requires a very complicated gripper, so that can either be a gripper which incorporates multiple gripper systems or it can be a gripper with a quick gripper exchange system. Another challenge that has to be overcome, for example, is the physical alignment between your uh, mobile robotic production assistant and the machine at which it is standing. And in order to be able to do that, we use a, a physical docking station where the trolley with the cobot can actually dock to the floor and have an exact same position as it had the previous times when the programs were teached at that specific machine. Another challenge is the I.O. interface with the different machines. At one time you're talking to a production nut welding machine, at the other time you're talking to a manual tapping machine and you want to have a generic interface system so that you can do this communication at each station somehow in a similar way. Ease of programming is also an important issue. You want to have like modular programs so that the operators of Malmer themselves can change the programs afterwards. So these were all, and even some more, challenges that needed to be overcome. And now let's talk about our objectives and achievements. Starting from efficiency, our objective was to improve it for 25 percent points. We started with the efficiency of 68% and currently we already achieved 86.5%. Talking about quality performance, reduction of the scrap, objective was to improve it for 25%. Currently we are very close to the target, we reduced it for 23% and we are moving on. So looking at our organization, 
reduction of required skill sets for automation to switch over, initially it was needed to use one engineer. Currently, our machine operator completely able to do it. Developing further organization, having trained operators working autonomously on robot cell. Initially, we had trained one person. Currently, we have already two operators who are fully ready to efficiently execute all required tasks. And we're looking forward to increase the group of trained people. In regards of automation of manual tasks for product group baskets, objective was to decrease it for 50%. Currently, we fully delivered this objective.